Hello everyone, we will continue the topic BTE and we are covering the implementation of a BTE. We finished with first step, we identified the BTE, we copied the interface function module and we created our own function module, we activated the function module. Now we need to write the code based upon our requirement. Now what is our requirement? If the company code is DE11, the field text will be non-editable else it will be editable. Now best way, always see in the debugging mode. So in one session, I will open in debugging mode. And in another session, we will write the code for the same because it is debugging is a technique which always helps us to increase our coding skills. So I will go for now. This is the particular BTE which we identified. I will put a breakpoint. And this I will run FB02 and I will show you. And in this function module, we will write the code. So now I will go to FB02. Now this is the test case. I will put end. Up to this level, I will not do anything. I will simply do F8. Because whenever we will double click on the line item, I'm double clicking on the line item or if we will go for details, I'm double clicking. BTE called. Now after that, the pop-up is coming where we have the text column. Suppose I'm doing F8 as of now. Now this is the text column, text input field which we need to make editable or non-editable. What is one thing? You can simply check the technical information. If you will see the technical information, how you will see the technical information? F1. You all know F1 is technical information. What is the column name? Simply, simply go for this technical information. It is your B sec table, which particular column? S G T X T. Now we will see in that debugging mode. It is saying, what is your screen field? B sec S G T X T. This is our screen field. This is our screen field, which we want to make editable or non editable. This is the field. Now I will again go to debugging and we will write the logic. Technical information is very, very important many times. So with the help of technical information, we came to conclusion very quickly that the screen field name is BSEG SGTXT. I will do F8 as of now. Now I am double clicking. And we will write the code. Now what the code we need to write if the company code is DE11, we need to make BSEG hyphen SGTXT as editable, sorry, non editable. In other scenarios, it should be editable. Now we need to see where we are getting the company code DE11. I will double click onto this parameter. Onto this parameter, onto this parameter. These three are input parameters importing. I will double click here. Have you seen in this I underscore BKPF Bukras BUKRS, you are getting the value DE11. So now I will write the code here. If I underscore BKPF hyphen B-U-K-R-S 
वट इज द कंपनी कोड टीई इलेवन नाउ इफ द कंपनी कोड इज डीई इलेवन वट वी नीड टू डू वी नीड टू मेक दैट स्क्रीन फील्ड नॉन एडिटेबल नॉन एडिटेबल एंड हैव यू सीन एस ए पी ऑलरेडी प्रोवाइड ए पैरामीटर टी अंडर स्कोर नो इनपुट नो इनपुट मीन्स वॉट you cannot give the input there it means that is non editable it is a table if i will double click here you can see this is a structure and which has the column f name now how how i can pass the value to this particular tables parameter firstly i will declare a work area because you all know how you can pass the values to the internal table through append statement append work area to internal table so i will declare the work area suppose i am writing lwa underscore input time this is your name of the structure i will pass this now i will simply write the logic if company code is de11 what is work area lwa input hyphen i will check what is the column name in this particular structure f name complete field name it is saying you have to go for complete field name table separator field name so i will give the full anyways i showed you through f1 help also f name is equal to it is saying you have to go for full it means what is table name p set what is the field hyphen what is the field name sgtxt and i showed you through screen f1 info help also this was our screen field now i will write append work area to internal table what is internal table t underscore no input if you want to completely make it invisible you can pass to this also after every append we should clear the work area now i will check the syntax and now i will act so what is the summary of this particular video in this video we are writing the logic into our function module based upon our requirement best way always go for debugging and i before that i showed you that with the help of technical information you can check the name then i showed you the screen field name is b s e g hyphen s g t x t now we saw in that debugging mode that in i underscore b k p f parameter this i underscore b k p f parameter bookrus column we are getting the value of company code so i put a if condition and yes in this particular internal table or tables parameter we need to pass that particular field which we want to make editable or non editable so i put the full name i appended the data to this particular table parameter with the help of var area now in the next video next video is extremely important because people will ask now you have written the logic into this z function module but it is no where binded in the standard program because see as of now you are always all you find it this particular bte we find it this particular function module or you can say process interface bte based upon this we have written the logic into a z function module but how how this will execute our logic now this is standard sap function module now we need to bind this function module into this standard function module so that our code will execute 
This is the next important part because up to this level, maximum people think you created a function module, but where it will trigger from where? It has not binded with the standard process at all. So in the next videos, we will go for most, most important steps because we will bind now this function module into the standard process, standard program of SAP itself. So that's it in this video. Thank you.